Hey guys, it is Tuesday, March 2nd, and I have 30 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing here, I went ahead and pulled from my storage. You know, this is an Aaron Tippin shirt, something I got from the Mojo Casher crew. Well, I got a few dollars into that. That sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And everything else here sold to viewers that reached out via email. This is a Philadelphia Eagles hat that I've got seven or eight dollars into that sold uh, to Brian for $25 free shipping. This is a uh, San Francisco Giants flag that sold to Adam for $20 free shipping. We've got a pair of Merrill boots in that cast iron muffin pan. Those are both going to Emily for $50 free shipping. And we have two tins. There's a Mario and a Yoshi N64 tins. Those are going out to Ian for $25 free shipping. Brian, Emily, Adam, and Ian, thank you guys all so much for the support. Next thing is a lot of cards that I auctioned off. It's 25 basketball cards. I believe it is this lot right here. So there's Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, uh, Patrick Ewing, there's a bunch of them in here. I started this at a dollar. They sold for $44 plus shipping. Next order has three PC games. All three of these are part of the sale that I was running. So they're discounted a little bit. Let's see. First is the Journeyman Project 2. I feel like both of these sold too. Let me grab these. This is, yeah. So there's Journeyman Project 2, Buried in Time. Uh, that's the 11th hour. And the last one is the 7th Guest right here i got all these last year i've only got about a dollar into each one all three sold to the same buyer for 42.72 plus shipping next is a funko pop right here i've only got one left in this box this is the robot devil from futurama part of that big funko pop deal that i paid 800 dollars for this one sold for 24.99 plus shipping next is a he-man figure down in c51 i just picked up quite a few of these and so far they're selling pretty good he had his axe and his uh shield i'm not sure if that sword is the original one or not but he was pretty much complete he sold for 39.99 plus shipping all right going back to the cards i went ahead and just pulled the box over because a handful of these sold let's see we got six cards these are all modern players uh tops finest 2020 we got Juan Soto, there's a Chris Bryant, Aaron Judge, I think there's a Mookie Betts. These uh, six sold for $21.50 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named John. Then we've got a lot of Aristides Aquino rookies right here. Uh, eight of those uh, sold for $10.50 plus shipping to a viewer named Brian. And then we've got some Joe Nuxall cards. There's a lot of, how many? Seven of these. Those uh, sold for $16.55 plus shipping, and they're going out to your name, Garrett. John, Brian, and Garrett, thank you guys for the business. Hope you like those cards. Next up are two lots of Hot Wheels cars right down here. Well, here's one of them anyways. There are 20 cars here. Started this lot at a dollar, and this one sold for $50 plus shipping. The other one is right behind me. This is also 20 cars started at a dollar and these sold for $46 plus shipping next we're going over to e31 this is a lot of 1974 and 75 tops basketball cards I uh, did an auction for these they sold for 1650 plus shipping and those are going out to viewer named Adrian who has bought for me before Adrian thanks for your continued support it means a lot all right I did some auctions for some vinyl records first is in a24 I think there's two or three different lots. Let's see, yeah, this is vinyl record lot four. There's a total of 14 of them. I think there's like Fresh Prince, Cool Modi, and some other ones. These sold for 550 plus shipping. And next is right up here. This is a lot of 15 of them. Tina Turner, Walk the Dinosaur, there's a big variety there. Those sold for 2050 plus shipping. And I guess that's it. I think I have one or two other ones, but they haven't ended yet. Next thing is a knife, right over here at A41. I just picked this up last week from my guy Mike and a big bulk a lot of stuff. So I've probably got about $10 into this. It's a hen and rooster knife with the leather sheath in the box. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a Colorado Buffalo's hat, something I had in the sale that I'm running. Had it for quite some time, so it was probably 35% off. I think it was originally $9.99 plus shipping. 
and with a discount is sold for $6.49 plus shipping. So a couple more He-Man figures. First is down here in E51. This guy right here, I did not know the name of him. I had to use the um, Google Lens app, but it pulled it right up. This is Mintena from 1984. That sold for $19.99, free shipping. And the next one is in C42 right here also something i had to use the google lens for this is actually a ninja turtle figure um his name is hothead didn't have the accessories so he wasn't worth as much as he would be if he was complete but he still sold for 29.99 plus shipping next thing is a lot of baseball and softball gloves right down here in five i did an auction with these and i did actually two auctions this lot had 12 gloves the other lot had 11 gloves the other one hasn't been paid for yet this one has been this one sold for 152.50 plus shipping next is over on e1 it is three die cast cars i think it's in this box right here yeah this is the one these didn't have their boxes i decided to do an auction with them started it at a dollar they sold for 12.50 plus shipping viewer named jake got those cars for his dad jake thanks for the support hope your dad likes those cars we're shipping some more cards um all three of these were auction lots let's see first is 25 football cards Deion sanders uh terrell owens let's see got some of these labeled I think it is this lot right here. Yeah, these are the ones. Started these at 99 cents and they just didn't get much action. Not a big deal. So I'm just kind of learning which ones I want to pull up for auction and which ones are going to be worth it. And it doesn't look like most of these football will be worth auctioning. These only sold for 99 cents plus shipping. And same with the baseball lot that I did. These right here, 25 cards. I think there was like a Derek Jeter, King Griffey Jr. Um, just not much action. These went for 99 cents plus shipping as well. The basketball cards, however, I think it's this lot right here. Basketball cards have been generating a lot more interest. This lot uh, had a Shaq, a Scottie Pippen. These sold for $16.50 plus shipping. I almost didn't catch it. Those football cards are going to ask a viewer named Jason. Thank you so much for the support, Jason. Next thing is another He-Man figure in E42. It's this guy right here. It is Prince Adam. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a uh, Pontiac GTO diecast car should be right here didn't have the box but just really clean overall in good condition that sold for $24.99 plus shipping next we're going over to d42 this is an action figure spawn al simmons something i got from the mojo Castro crew last week probably got about five dollars into it that sold for 9.99 plus shipping and that figure is going out to your name felix he says love your channel man been watching you for a little over a year thank you for all the great schooling you gave me helped a lot keep it up felix thanks so much for the kind words and thanks for your support it's wednesday march 3rd and i have 25 ebay orders to ship out I think that sounds right. Uh, but first, I want to answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Art Vandelay. That's my buddy Dan. He asks, do you have one or two day handling? I was snowed in this past Monday and could not get my items to the post office. Luckily, I'd switched to two day handling in December and did not get late shipments. Great video, John. All right, Dan. So I have one day handling, but I had the same thing happen. I saw in the forecast, we had a bunch of snow that was supposed to be coming. It's been, I think now, like two weeks or so. So I went ahead and when I saw the forecast, I changed everything to two day handling. And then we got a decent amount of snow, but I was still able to get in and ship some orders. And I saw it happen again. I don't think I changed my handling time for everything, you know, before I, some stuff started selling. So I just messaged everybody the next day and said, hey, I apologize. We got a lot of snow you know it's going to be an extra day before i ship it out and nobody seemed to have any problems with it you guys have an ebay store um the way to do it is you just go into your active listings and do a bulk edit and you can change your handling time on everything all at once for one day or two days and i'm not sure if you don't have a store you might still be able to do it i'm not sure there's so many things where you know ebay lets you do it if you have a store and doesn't let you do it if you don't Okay, next question is from Home Run Queen 2 I have a couple of questions. Your videos have inspired me to start reselling myself. How do you get people to notice your listings on eBay over others? Also, what items do you need to get started with reselling to be efficient? Thanks, John. Love your videos. Okay, your first question, noticing your listings. 
Um, I think titles are probably the most important thing. Photos are important too, but I think titles are number one. So definitely use up as many characters as you can. You want to describe things really well, use proper keywords, and you can look at sold listings and see, you know, what people use in the title to sell it. So, you know, kind of like cheating a little bit, seeing what keywords are good. Photos are also really, really important. Um, I think a clean white background is really good and having good lights, you know, to where that picture just really pops. Uh, that can definitely separate you. If you want to pay to have promoted listings, that can separate you too. A lot of people do 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever. I've tried it from time to time, but I haven't done it here recently. Okay, next question. What items do you need to get started with reselling to be efficient? That is a really broad question. Um, I feel like a good uh, printer for labels could help you be really efficient. When I first started doing this, I would just print labels through like my inkjet printer. So one piece of paper would take, you know, 20, 30 seconds to print and then I'd cut it out and put tape over it and all that. And now I have a Dymo label so I don't pay for any ink or toner and it spits out a label in like three seconds. So I just rip it and slap it on. So that saves a lot of time. This honestly, believe it or not, tape guns save a lot of time as opposed to just, you know, pulling off pieces of tape and trying to put them on the boxes. One other thing I'll say, I think having a good inventory system can help you be efficient. I, everybody has a different thing. Just make sure you have something that you can find your items when they sell. Because if you don't know where they are when it sells, it could take you a lot of time. When I first started selling, I just was randomly putting stuff on shelves and then I would have to hunt to find it. And now I have a pretty good inventory system. So when something sells, I know exactly where it is. All right, first thing going out is a big lot of baseball gloves. And I think it's right up here. I did two auction lots of these. You guys saw me ship out the other lot yesterday. This lot has 11 gloves. Started it at a dollar and they sold for $157.50. I had a number of these already and then I bought some more from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. So on average, I've probably got three or four dollars into each glove. And the reason I decided to auction these is because most of these I think would only sell between 10 and 15 dollars each. So instead of doing multiple listings, just did one auction listing. And mid to late February is the perfect time to do these because baseball stuff is getting started. So now is the time that coaches are buying up gloves. Okay, next is a card right over here. Ken Stabler for the Raiders. That sold at auction for $9.52 plus shipping. And the buyer got another item. It's a Cincinnati Reds jersey. See, I'm scrolling through my listings here trying to find it. Okay, it is in B51 right down here. This was part of that um, a lot of jerseys and stuff I got on that online auction. This one sold for $39.99 free shipping. Both of those items are going out to a viewer named Randy who's bought a lot for me in the past. Randy, thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, we're shipping some more cards. These are 1979 to 1980 Topps Basketball. There's a lot, 35 of them. Uh, those sold in auction for $379 plus shipping. Next thing is a set of speakers right here on B2. These are Kenwood speakers, new in the packaging. Got these from my guy Mike. So I've maybe got about $10 into them. Those sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an action figure right here in A41. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo the Clown. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. That figure's going out to viewer named Benjamin. Thanks so much for the support, Benjamin. Okay, next thing is a patch. This is something that I ran a sale on with that big sale that I'm doing right now. It's an old inventory code that says A5. So I'm guessing it's either in this box or in this one down here. We'll go ahead and pull this and see if we can find it. It's an Air Force patch. Something that I got at a garage sale last year. I bought this huge collection of patches and I've already made some really good money on them. There's just a few of them left over. And this is the one. Uh, that sold for $6.49, free shipping. The buyer left a thank you note. They didn't say they're a viewer, but I have a feeling they are. So Michael, if you're watching this, thanks so much for the business. Next thing is an audio book right here. Stephen Hunter, Pale Horse Coming, new in the plastic. Also something I had on sale. It sold for $8.44, free shipping which doesn't sound like a lot, but I've already had to work into it for the listing. So if I can get a few bucks for it, why not? Next is a laser disc. Uh, let's see, I know I had 
the laser disc somewhere. I think it's this one right here. This might be the last one I have. I've sold quite a few of these. I've got less than a dollar into this one. It sold for $9.74 plus shipping. That laser disc is going out to viewer named Adam. He says, Hey CP, my name is Adam. I go by the Pittsburgh Picker on YouTube. I've been a long time fan of your channel. You and a few others were my inspiration to start my YouTube journey. I saw this on your store and had to buy it. My fiance and I are huge Clint Eastwood fans and this would make a great addition for our YouTube studio. Check out our channel. It will be in the background from now on. Thanks for all that you do for the reseller community and say hello to the family for us. Adam, thanks so much for the support and I'll definitely look out for that on your YouTube channel. All right, next thing is another sale item. All the sale items are selling. I think it's up here. No. Oh, wait, here it is. This is a Monkey Mechanical Bank. It's missing some pieces, not in the best condition. If it was like mint uh working and complete it might be worth 30 or 40 dollars but as it was it sold for 11.69 free shipping next thing is a funko pop i am down to three funko pops from that buy i made i guess three weeks ago where i paid 800 dollars and i'm definitely into the profit on them by now this is frankenstein that sold for 39.99 plus shipping next thing going out is a watch um also something i was running a sale on let's see once again, it's an old inventory code, so I'm not completely sure where it is. There it is. This is something I got at a sale last year. I paid like six or seven dollars for it, and with the sale, it sold for sixteen twenty-four free shipping. That watch is going out to a viewer named Brennan. He says, "Hi John, first time buyer, long time viewer. I saw this watch and it would be a perfect gift for my mom. Just wanted to say thank you for all the information on reselling. I started reselling a little bit myself on eBay, mostly Funko Pops, and I'm loving it so far. Thanks for everything. My store is Baltier Twenty Nine. Good luck on this coming garage sale season. Brennan, thanks for your support. Hope your mom likes that watch." Next thing is a radio right here. This is a vintage Panasonic radio. Tested it out, works great. Got it as part of a bulk buy. I've got maybe 10 or $15 into it. Also on sale, I think this was like a 15% off, uh, maybe 25% off. It sold for $59.49 plus shipping. Okay, I've got a couple lots of cards that are going out. Two different 25 lots of basketball, and they should both be right here. Let's see, one lot has Iverson, and then I think one lot has Luka Doncic. Let's see. There's the Luka lot. Those sold for $5.50 plus shipping. And I think these are the Iverson lot. Yeah, right here, these sold for $6.50 plus shipping. And one of those lots is going out to a viewer named Anthony. Anthony, thanks for the business. Hope you like those cards. Next thing is a GameCube game. Let's see. Once again, old inventory code. It seems like a lot of the stuff that I had on sale is old inventory codes, but should still be able to find it. I believe this is it right here. Yes, yeah, Spawn Armageddon. That's all for $13.49. Free shipping. That game's going out to a viewer named Halina. She says, long time viewer, first time buyer. I wanted to find something to purchase to support you and appreciation for all you've taught me. If it weren't for watching you, I don't know if I would have switched to selling full time and I definitely would have started my reselling YouTube channel. Yeah, going full time is a big jump, so good for you. That's awesome. I only have 10 videos out, but I wouldn't even have those out if you didn't inspire me to. The name of my channel is Pick Like a Pro. Wish me luck and keep up the great work. Thank you for everything. Halina, thanks so much for your support. I wish you nothing but the best of luck with YouTube and reselling. Next is a lot of handheld games. Should be right here. Yeah. We've got two Sega Game Gears, a uh, Sony PSP, and a Game Boy Color. These didn't work, so I sold them all uh, for parts uh, as is. Did an auction for them starting at a dollar. They sold for $86 plus shipping. Your name Michael got those games. He says, hey John, it's Michael. My eBay handle is civicracing003. Want to thank you for all the help and I hope I'm able to get these to work. Take care. Michael, thanks for your business. Hope you're able to get them to work too. Got some more cards going out. These are some auction lots. It's two lots of 25 baseball cards. Um, we've got a lot with Cal Ripken and a lot with Barry Larkin. That's the Larkin lot. And let's see, I don't know if that's the Ripken lot. Um, that's another Larkin lot. So this must be the Ripken lot. These two went to the same buyer for $8.29 plus shipping. I've been doing a lot of auctions with these cards, just trying to see the best way to sell them. And I'm not sure this is the way to go. So I might kind of shift my thinking a little bit on selling these. 
that buyer got one other item. It is a Ken Griffey Jr. starting lineup figure. Right back in here, it's the freeze frame, so there's three different figures in one. That sold for eleven twenty four plus shipping. All that stuff is going out to a viewer named Kevin. Kevin, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing shipping out is an F41. So let's move this rack out of the way. This is also something I got from my guy Mike as part of a bulk buy. It is OEM wheel locks uh, for a Kia wheel. These sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next is over in D32. This guy right here. This is a He-Man action figure. His name is man e faces like many faces um, and again I use Google Lens to figure that out he has a little gun with him too so I think that helped the value this sold for $15.99 free shipping next we're going over to A2 I sold an antenna this guy right here got this a month ago I've got about five dollars into it this is a really heavy duty antenna it sold for $25.49 plus shipping Okay, just shipping a few more lots of cards, and then that's the end of the cards for today. We've got two different lots of football, both 25 cards. Um, here's one here that has Tony Gonzalez and uh, Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith. And the other lot that the buyer got is this one right here. It's got Randy Moss, Theon Sanders, Dan Marino, and a bunch more. Both of these went up for auction, and the pair sold for $16 plus shipping. Your name, Jesse, got those cards. Jesse, thank you so much for the support. All right, last thing we're shipping out is right down here at C51. This is Namco Museum for N64. I've only got a few dollars into this. And if you guys notice the picture, it's different than all my other pictures. There's no white background on this one because I took this home last night along with some other things and did a little bit of listing at home. This one sold for $13.99, free shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.